and welcome again to our devotional series based on the promises of God. My name is Cal, and our promise today is from Isaiah 41.10. Don't you be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. When was the last time you felt fear? And I don't mean because you're watching a scary movie or some other artificially induced fear. Hearing strange noises in your house? Fear about what's going on with the pandemic and what life might look like? A medical diagnosis you weren't prepared for or relationship or job situation that has suddenly changed? Fear is certainly a universal human emotion. And most of the time, fear comes from the loss of control or the presence of significant uncertainty. Now, the opening words of the verse of this verse in the New Testament, uh, sorry, in the New International Version is so, do not fear. Do not fear. It's both a command and a promise. God commands his people not to fear, but also gives us the reason why. Because he is with us. Romans 8.31 reminds us, if God is for us, who can be against us? Now, if you're in a place today where fear, for whatever reason, has come upon you, remember the command and the promise of God. Fear not, I am with you. Because God is God, His strength and His power makes it possible for God to say, I can help you. But it is God's love for us that makes Him say, I will help you. But there's one more thought I want to leave you with today. This promise of God and all the prom other promises of God we've looked at and will continue to look at can only be fully realized and experienced if we are in a right relationship with God. Our promise today says, For I am your God, which then means that we are His people. Those who know God and those who are known by God are those who have admitted their sinfulness and have received by faith the free gift of salvation through Jesus Christ. As we reflect on these promises of God, can I invite you to consider where you're at in your relationship with God? Where are you at in your faith journey? And can I encourage you to enter into relationship with Him so that as you grow in your faith, you too can fully experience all these promises and so much more. Now, if you'd like to find out more about what it means to be a Christ follower, contact us and we would love to talk with you. Have a great, fearless day.